Okay, we're recording. Hello everybody, my name is uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. So recently I had the chance to play Edward Snowden in a movie. Making that movie got me thinking a lot about today's technology and how it affects our democracy. So what I did was put out a, a challenge video asking people to answer the question, is today's technology good or bad for democracy? Now there's this one contribution that I wanna play for you in a second that came in from a guy named Ben Wisner. Ben is the director of the Speech Privacy and Technology Project at the ACLU. He is also Edward Snowden's lawyer. You know, my friend, the technologist Bruce Schneier likes to say, think about how you feel when a police car is driving right alongside you. And now imagine having that feeling at all hours of every day. My fear for the future is that surveillance is getting so much cheaper, storage of data is getting so much cheaper, that we're moving towards a world where it's technologically and financially feasible for all of our movements, communications, associations, friendships to be stored in massive databases and kept forever. Um, and in a world where all of that stuff is being captured, never being deleted, where we're constructing massive surveillance time machines that can be rewound uh, if we ever come under some kind of suspicion, or even if we don't. You know, I worry that's going to feel like a very different world, that people might be reluctant to take risks, that they might be reluctant to go to that protest, that they might be reluctant to type in that controversial search on a search engine, that we will always have the feeling that that police car is driving next to us. Uh, and if people don't have courage to take risks, uh, democracy will be threatened. I, I always say this, um, you know, technology is not destiny. Uh, it's not automatically going to create a better world, and it's not automatically going to create a worse world. Uh, we still have to decide what kind of world we want to live in.